are blessed with the day though. We are blessed with the day. literally wrote out a list of things I need to talk about. Yeah, and it's also Grace's graduation. It was Kate's graduation yesterday. Call the weekend. It's Thursday. Is You guys are spending the day today and um, we're going for a drive to Sandy Mount and we're gonna get drive to Sandy Mount. I paused it. We're gonna get lunch and read. You need to remember a book. Yeah. Um and then we're going to go to the Taylor Swift movie tonight and chill, chill, chill. It'd be so cute. It's gonna finish at half ten though. That's okay. So it's gonna be late when you get home. We'll just do that instead of watching movies. Yeah, so we're gonna. Out of sight. Oh, we're gonna have to go to this hole. Yeah, that's what. This? Is this it? Out of sight. So sweet. So sweet. Who's taking off his clothes? No, it's actually taking off his clothes. Oh, she's <laughs> on at me. I was talking to mom in secret about something. Do you remember? Oh, and yeah. You would not alone like you UTI isn't it? Yeah and you made me <laughs> made me tell you remember? Because I hate when you give secrets from me. Well I, I literally... should probably tell you I think I have to get <laughs> Tell me. Who me? Yeah before we were friends really. If you had like drama that. with like Lola and Saul or something oh. and you'd go into the living room tell mom and I'd have my ear pressed against the door trying to find out. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but now you just tell me straight up. I remember um I don't know my hair is looking like very wiggy right now but whatever um so i just finished my i wrote it on my notes because i got me starting my level five soon so i got a new notebook a training course for like a tussle thing i was doing for work and i just love writing notes so good. this medal for my class to implement because i was like doing a raffle thing like last month but like they just forget too easily that they're meant to be good to be put in the raffle to get a prize so i thought this would be better for like a daily thing rather than like waiting till the end of the week for a prize and i got to wear the medal for the rest of the day and then they give it back to me at the end of the day and someone can wear it tomorrow um so hopefully that'll be good it's actually like hefty it's quite heavy i thought it was gonna be really cheap i moved into kate's room because she's gone to New York and I really didn't think I'd be able to or want to move up here she's in the attic um, after she left because it was really sad but it turns out I do and if you're watching this I'm sorry but at the same time the process of like moving some of my stuff up here and being up here has really made me see how much like it's made me feel so close to her because i just feel really mature and grown up being up here because it makes me feel like how she was and i always saw her as so much more grown up and mature than me even though she's only 24 but like she was always the really mature one in my head and being up here just makes me feel like oh my god i'm literally the same like i'm also grown up and mature 
and we're the same and also it just made me realize how much stuff I like subconsciously was copying off her and like trying to be like her because she's postcards stuck around her room and I remember when I was in like fourth year I started buying loads of postcards to stick on my wall just because I thought it was cool that she was doing that she's like all the plants and like uh, fake ivy leaves and stuff and I also started doing that with my room and don't get me wrong like I love my room and I made it into such a cave and like it made me feel so safe and I loved it but at the same time I feel like I kind of outgrew it and being up here just really feels like the start of a new era in the letter she wrote me when she left she said that she was so like proud of me and happy with the direction my life is going in and I had never really thought about it that way but it just is true like I feel like I just am on such like an actual path now I just love my job and I'm gonna be doing my level five and actually being qualified and I want to like really go on to like study properly and get qualified in more things to do childcare because I just am really interested in it I just feel really grown up like the way I'm dealing with situations and I have started the process of coming off my medication I've been halving my dosage for the last two weeks and the doctor told me to quarter my dosage then for another two weeks but I don't think I'll even need that much I might like the things are tiny so I don't know how I'd have to bring them to the pharmacy to get them quartered so I might just not do that I don't know yet but I was really prepared for the worst to do with that um like I really was preparing myself for it being a horrific journey coming off them but touch wood so far it's actually been so refreshing and like tolerable because I've already cried like three weeks I've already cried like three times this week the Taylor Swift movie yesterday and when Lover came on it was right at the start and it was just so overwhelming and I got goosebumps and I started crying tears streaming down my face it felt holy like it was actually phenomenal and, like I kind of feel like I'm on the verge of tears all the time but in a really nice way because I just really want to cry all the time really really nice um I was so prepared of being anxious and stuff like I if I do start to feel anxious I'm just so in the mindset where I'm like it's not a big deal because I know it's not real it's just like my body reacting but it's not like the real me because the real me is good enough to come off the medication so you know and I was watching back on my YouTube videos from like when I first started going on the medication and it was just making me so emotional that I just wish I could tell myself like how much better it got and I'm just so proud of myself time has been going by really quickly recently something that I've noticed that like in a nice way that my work days and my work week just flies by because I enjoy it so much and I look forward to going but then like the weekends also fly by and now that it's winter and it's dark so early when, by the time I get home from work in the evenings like my social battery's kind of been used up all day like interacting with kids so I kind of just want to like be with Grace for the rest of the evening or be by myself because I just feel like I'm never alone and I really just I think I'm gonna like start putting in more effort to be on my own a bit more because I know I'm somebody who really really appreciates and needs that and I feel like I've been kind of depriving myself of it recently. I feel mature enough that in my relationships I have now that I'd be able to be like I know and you know that like we love and appreciate each other so I don't need to see you all the time to be reassured on that like I can be on my own for a while knowing I'll be able to see you again and it won't be any different do you know what I mean because I feel like I wasn't like that for the majority of the time and all my friendships and stuff that I felt like I needed to see people constantly for myself to be reassured and validated that we were close like I'm just so secure in my friendships that I've come to the realization it doesn't need to be as full-on as I thought it would be yeah I just love being up here 
feel like time is slipping away from me a bit because this year was definitely the best year I've had in a while. Like last year was the worst year ever just because of those like four to six months that were really bad even though there were really good parts of that year as well. But this year was actually just so good. Like from the very beginning in January, it was just so good. And I was so happy. I kind of forget, like if I'm thinking about it now, I'm like, oh, I actually am really happy. But I don't know. It's like, I almost have like kind of an inkling in my head that something's missing. I don't know. I think it's more just that I think it's too good to be true. Have time to be doing stuff and like everything's just going by really quickly and I'm gonna be 21. And that's just, I like haven't copped how crazy that's gonna feel like, like that's just really interesting. Like I'm gonna be 21 and then the next few birthdays aren't like 17, 18, 19. They're like 21, 22, 23. You know, and then I'm at the age where like, it might be a bit taboo, but I actually could like get married or have a child. I'm nearly at the age where like all of those options are just really opened up. Living up here, it just makes me feel like I'm in, it has the same feeling as my room in Berlin did.